Uh, as I promised in the previous video of this series about uh, BDC patch nomenclatures, I'll make this volume about the additional features. Uh, before going in depth uh, through these additional features, it's important to mention what are the essential features of any PTC. Uh, any PTC pet has the following essential uh, features. A body, a body of the pet which may be made of matrix alloy or steel. Number two, a number of blades. Number three, a number which indicate what are the cutter sizes on each blade. Number four, each blade should have one row of cutters. Number five, it's standard to have just one nozzle per blade. Number six, two to three inches non-step passive gauge pad. Number seven, a regular following the API bin up connection. Uh, with the previous uh, points about the essential features of the BDC pads, the eye will easily notice another row of cutters at the shoulder area of each plate. It's very useful to have such a feature, especially while trailing the abrasive formations, because the backup row or the second row uh, reinforce the action of the first row uh, and extends the life of the bit. Uh, this feature is considered an essential feature by space and they made a separate product line, which they call the Shark product line, the other companies uh, still consider it an additional feature and give it uh, different abbreviations, where, for example, give it P from power cutters, Halperton give it D from dowel cutters, and uh, Paker make it extra rows and give it the letter X. Uh, the presence of the 360 degree revolving cutters at the nose and shoulder area is uh, another feature. Uh, it is specific for uh, Smith pits. The rotation of the cutters uh, make it stay shorter for a longer time and extend the pit life. Uh, another feature which is specific for Smith bits is the conical element, diamond conical element. This feature may be just one conical element at the middle of the cone area or a multiple of conical elements at the backup row area. Uh, this known as the Z feature. Uh, it's one Z when one conical element at the middle of the cone area or double Z when multiple of these elements are found at the backup row area. Uh, the conical shape of uh, this element fills the formation more efficient and increase the bit stability and reduce vibration. Uh, the oval cutter, rather than uh, circular ones, uh, are a new feature for some very pits. Uh, this feature is useful uh, in direction work by the conventional motor, where uh, less weight on bed is required to proper engage with the formation, and uh, this produce more uniform torque profile and uh, more stable tool face. Uh, in some beds, we may find some extra fixed ports. Uh, for Smith pets, they call it Q feature. Uh, the purpose of these ports is to provide uh, additional 
area for more flow, for better uh, cutter cleanings, and ROB when the uh, nozzle compromise bit design. Uh, when the bit has a number of nozzle more the number of plate, they call this feature higher nozzle than standard. This means give it each symbol. Uh, this feature allow uh, utilizing the maximum flow without increasing standby pressure. Uh, on the other hand, when the pit has a number of nozzles less than the blades, they call it fewer nozzle than standard and give it a symbol. Uh, this, of course, will increase the hydraulic horsepower of the bit without the risk of being plugged if a smaller nozzles are utilized. The low exposure feature, which include cutter packing raising to minimize the depth of cut, is very useful when drilling is going to be carried out through heterogeneous formation. The feature minimizes the cutter package and extends the bit life. Uh, impregnating the cutter packing could be considered as a secondary feature to the previous feature, which include uh, impregnating the cutter packing with diamond to limit the BDC cutter wear and increase the bit life. Uh, these circular patterns at the backup row position, maybe of uh, carbide or uh, thermally stabilized polycrystalline diamond, are known as chuck studs. Uh, they are useful in controlling the torsion vibration uh, because when drilling condition causes vibration, uh, these chuck studs make contact with the formation to help restore the pit's normal smooth <coughs> cutting action. Uh, smoothing the cutting action increases the cutter life and overall bit performance. Uh, when uh, these patterns are found in the shoulder area, they call it the anti wheel feature. Smith give it V letter. Uh, it's important in controlling the lateral movement of the bed. Uh, the gauge bed may be covered by TSP inserts to increase the gauge bed life and keep the hole engaged. Uh, when the application requires a full tilting of the bit, like the point is a bit rotor steerable system, they uh, stepping the gauge bed into two or three steps. This feature is given uh, the G1 by Varel and the E by Halliburton. Uh, the gauge bed is called active gauge bed when it has cutters on its side. Uh, these cutters make it more aggressive and help in the side track operation, but on the other hand, it generates high reactive torque at the rock pit interface. Uh, when the gauge bed is longer than the standard, 4 or 5 or 6 inches, it's called extended gauge bed. Uh, Smith give it letter E in the uh, additional feature part. Uh, it enhances the bit stability and improves bore hole quality. Uh, it's very useful if no aggressive variation control is needed. Uh, on the other hand, when the gauge bed is shorter than standard, one and a half or one inches, for example, it's called short 
gauge. Uh, it is useful when uh, aggressive direction work or maneuvering by the motor is to be carried out. Uh, the pack reaming cutters uh, P by Smith and U by Vare are those cutters at the up side of the gauge, gauge bed. It improves back ream and minimizes uh, the possibility of bit sticking. When uh, that cutter is in the downhole direction of the gauge pad, they call it dropping cutters and is given letter D by Varel. This helps to uh, keep the hole engaged while drilling or down hole ring. This was the last part about the BDC nomenclature and it was about the additional features in the BDC. Uh, it's important to know that the same feature may be given a different letter to characterize it by the different surface companies. So it is very important to have a record for each surface company to fully understand what is meant by each feature and to avoid misunderstanding the indication of that litter.